So that was Key Fleet and Worth Valley Railway Beer Festival. Once I got on the train, I realised I'd been there 13 years ago. <laughs> With my dad. I'll put a picture up now of um, the, the venue hall there, which is exactly the same. Just different trains that are in it. It was a very good experience. Um, it did get busy at times when the trains came in. So, you, you know, if you're running low on a pint and you think, oh, I need to get a top up, look what time the trains are coming in because if the trains come in in a few minutes run to that bar and get a drink because the um, it does fill up quite quick so it, I'm just waiting for the train back to Castleford now from Leeds just missed it by half an hour typical <laughs> sorry I keep looking over here it's the screens there but the cameras there um, yeah it was a very good experience very well organized the food was reasonably priced as well 
I got a burger that was five pound fifty, which you know, when after a few pints, you don't mind paying. It was it was very quick service. Um, obviously, that main reason I've come is because it's in the steam train, which I did, which I did see as you seen in the video. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a good day out, and there were lots of beers on the music. The music was good, just a bit a bit weird because the band that was on when I was leaving was coming on it were like a 1920s 1930s 40s 50s no acoustic that type of era with a female singer band and um it really did i think that should have been on a bit earlier but um you know whatever it's when i were there when i first turned up at 12 o'clock just after 12 it was probably probably about half past 12 it was an ed sheeran tribute act on and that should have probably been on when i were leaving because it was that sort of getting to that sort of generation that I'd know that and it'd get the place bouncing. But you know, that's just me. I'm a bit of a, a bit, not a bit of a snob, but I'm a bit of a music enthusiast. And um, you know, the sound wasn't overly that great. It really could have been boosted up a little bit. They had speakers set through the middle. So I'm just watching the trains that are coming in. I don't want to miss my train. Even though it's not due for half an hour, you don't trust them. Um, it was it was a very good experience. So the music it did have speakers halfway down the trains on one side, which were just boosting vocals. But the vocals weren't the problem. It were the it were the guitars and the bass and the drums that were the problem. So, but overall it was a very good experience, and I definitely would go again. So um, if you're thinking about it, definitely give it a shot next year. It's um, very worth it. It was um, very well organised and. There were plenty of toilets, there were plenty of catering, there were plenty of beer, that's for sure. Um, they've got stuff up about these trains. They've got all sorts of things up about it. And it um, gives a lot of information about the railway line, which you don't think. Plus, it's part of the um, railway children film, which I didn't realise until we came past Oakworth Station. So if, you, if you're into that, it's definitely worth a shot to check it out. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give this... Um, video a like and subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos that we've got going on it but i will um, end this video here now as i don't want to miss the train because i want to go home and get some food so see you later